Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Saga of the Second Sun. I am your host, Not A Great Gamer, and in our last episode, we decided to declare two different holy wars on two different people because it seemed like a good idea. And actually, it, 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 no, it's been a pretty good idea. We have successfully finished a holy war for Strathclyde. We are now three counties stronger. Yes, yes, yes. And the other war was going... Well, actually, it wasn't going very well. We just kind of forgot that um, <clears throat> our... Uh, we forgot that our stuff was getting sieged down. But that's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Real quick. Okay, good. I was just wondering what my Cirrus was doing. Or my Seer. No, who's this? Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, my Seer shows up as a woman on the map. But whatever. In the rest of the world, uh, the Kazara is doing quite well, actually. Let's uh, let's see here. How is Judaism doing? It's at thirty percent moral authority, which is pretty good for a religion that doesn't control any of its holy sites. Also, in the last episode, the Tulunids, the Tulunids are doing just fine. These uh, these Miaphysites dudes. I'm actually really, really, I'm really excited about these folks. Uh, oh, his uh, his heir is a Bagrationi. They were the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they were sort of the historical rulers of um, Armenia, and in this case, he is Orthodox, so that could be really, really interesting. Huh. Let's see how that goes. Man, this, this area. Once we get down in here and, like, start taking stuff out for, you know, Norse business, that'll be fun. Also, the Byzantine Emperor, I believe, is now Iconoclast. Yes, he is. That, uh... It's a little scary. Well, it's not scary, it's just... All y'all uh, Orthodox folks, I'm really sorry you have to see this. I'm really sorry you have to see this. Anyway, but Bulgaria is still Orthodox. That's good, right? Right? Yeah. Anyway, so let's finish up our little war against Burgundy, who controls, you know, Wales. Right? Right. Also, no one needs to notice what happened here? I uh, completely forgot 1,100 troops and 25 boats just sort of sitting around over here in um, what's this called? In um, it has a name. In uh, Normandy. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that that didn't actually happen. It just didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on down. You're all Kettleman of Svithiod. Who are you? Has usurped the title Jarldom of Svithiod from Goodmunder of Upland. Interesting. Actually, does that mean now that... No... Oh, no, it doesn't. Um... I'll cut him in the usurper of Svithiod. Where's your stuff? Oh, okay. Uh, this guy. Okay, never mind. I was wondering if if the kingdom of Svithiod owned Pomerania yet, but nope, nope, they don't. Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, yeah, we have such great commanders. It's not that they have incredible uh, martial; it's that their traits are perfect for this. I wonder if Jorvik is going to join in my uh, oh. crud. Oops. Uh, guys, get there quick. Um, I wonder. I was wondering if Jorvik was going to join this. Uh, Fight, actually. Guys, can you get in on this? Maybe. Oh no. We may actually lose this fight. I don't think we can reinforce fast enough. Can we get an organizer in there? We had an organizer. We no longer have an organizer. That is too bad. Oh, St Sigbjorn, the Jarl of, Jarl of Moray, he actually, um. Oops. Sigbjorn, uh, he was our uh, siege leader. He now has unyielding, which is really good, actually. Uh, yeah, we could lose that fight. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no, maybe we won't. Just got a little bit more... Tr yeah, yeah, we're actually going to win the fight. Wow, that was pretty terrible. There we go. Oh, gosh. That was bad management on my part. Total and complete. Also, give me a second here. Let me send the boats home. Guys, it's been fun. Go home. 
Okay, let's uh, take our stuff back. And then let's start taking other people's stuff. Because uh, that's what this war is all about, right? Alright. Okay. There's another battle. Down here. And then let's see how uh, attrition does. Okay. Oh, let's just kill some of their stuff. Bye. 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 Yeah. Out. Oh, done. Count Barad of Norbon. Uh, you know what? I could actually use your money. I'll take 70 gold. Sure, thanks. Two children lack an education focus. That's actually a big deal. Okay. Prince Thorbrander of Irmansul, my son, my eldest. He's playful. Oh, no, here's the thing, actually. He is my second son. But he, um... Our first son died of cancer, actually. So he he's, he is indolent and rowdy and playful, which means he is going to learn to, um... Yeah, he's going to learn the struggle. There we go. Now, my other son, son Prince Toller of Irmansul, he's my third slash second son. Probably the person we will be playing as next, but we'll see. Fussy, rowdy, and willful. Interesting. Okay, also learn the struggle. Let's see what Fussy turns into. I'm really curious about that. Oh, also... Oh, we have 480 money. Ooh. Let's do something about that. First off, let's split Take the army that has Sigbjorn and over here. Yeah, you're our siege leader. Okay. Let's stick Palantok in there too. Why not? throwing in random folks. Oh, wow. Uh, what are you? I have an Aztec, uh, I have an Aztec dude in my, uh, in my court. All right. That's neat. All right. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do here is this. Find characters. Search realm for both. In prison, no. Married, any... My religion, any culture actually. We're gonna go with that for no, let's go with my culture for right now. Married, any ruler, any. Adult, yes, great house, any. And High Marshal, King of Ireland. He could stand to like me better. Hmm. Gregarious Deceitful, not bad. He is going to I'm gonna see if he can educate. My eldest son. Interesting. Yeah, Thorbrander, my heir. Not him. There you go. And then this, let's see who else is here. Ooh, ambitious. Not slothful, that would be really bad. Ambitious, wroth, proud, brave, and temperate. There we go. The Chief of Cornwall. Why don't you educate my other son? Toler. Yes, he will. And he'll like me a little bit more. Which is really not the issue, but yeah, it's fun. Actually, hang on. 15,000 on 12,000? Did we just assault this? Alright, let's just assault this. Okay, we got a bunch of money. Okay, people are educating our children. Excellent. Alright. Seven days. Ooh, gosh. Rough. Protecting Holy War. Okay, well, good luck with that. Ooh, wow. A 
The attrition, bad. Oof. A uh, small th spear throwing competition in the middle of our uh, war. Okay, well, my throwing arm will do something anyway. Okay, and here we go. Somebody got really injured, mangled. Oh man. Well, that's unfortunate. I love how that, you know, happens. Oh, and I won? What the hell? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm not the most amazing dude in terms of uh, martial brilliance, so yeah. Okay, let's split this bad boy up. I can't believe we just lost that many dudes to attrition, but we did just lose that many dudes to attrition. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, evidently, I'm really good at uh, dealing with brawls or something. Oh man, okay. You guys come up here. Okay. Actually, no, not you. We got people sieging down our stuff. That's what I'm reacting to. Uh, Herrick. Uh, you're leading troops somewhere else. Fine. Somewhere else. Fine. Oh, actually, let's get some better commanders. The Jarl of Galloway. 21 Marshal? Alright. Let's do it. <clears throat> Just kidding. Let's go with the Jarl of Galloway. Ugh. How is this siege going? Actually, you should keep Sigbjorn. Should I lead troops? No. So I just want to point something out, something out here in a second. I'll show you. Oh well. Wow. Uh, let's auto balance these units a little bit. Eek. They're way off. That's kind of way off too, but that's okay. So I want to point out something about myself. So I'm a craven, so I have been deciding not to fight in any battles. But the thing is, I have unyielding, which actually negates that. So actually, my morale de morale defense is just fine, if you look at it. And it's, it's kind of interesting. So I could I could actually lead troops as a pretty decent heavy infantry leader with just a martial 10, which is okay. It's not great. Hmm. Let's take a look at my uh, defensive packs. What's my threat? 65%. Aw, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, even the Muslims are afraid of me. <laughs> do I even have a CB against you? Yeah, I do, actually. I'm a Viking. Of course I have a CB against you. I'm not technically a Viking, but... Shh. It's okay. Any negative on here? No. But they're about to siege down some of my stuff, so guys, get up there. Siege of something. Yeah, they they got me. They got me. Okay. Oh, am I gonna get you? Nope. Oh, sweet! Uh, the majority of the population of Gwynedd has converted to Germanic. Excellent. Well, how about if we uh, send you into the war zone, good sir? <laughs> and uh, why don't you uh, convert... I can't even read that. Perf... Perfed the lad. I'm not even going to try that again. Alright. Let's just assault that. Okay. I'll beat you there. Oh, maybe I won't actually. Will you even get out before I do? No, I will meet you there. I will be crossing a river to get there though. No, I won't. Never mind. What is that? Planes? Aw, oh, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hex yes, I gotcha. King Solby, the fast has declared Swedish Holy War for Coronia. Oh, nice. Uh, good luck. Really good luck with that, actually. I'm really hoping you uh, succeed with that. And there we go. Um, arranged marriage. Oh, that's right. Someone wanted to marry my daughter. And actually, this should form a non-aggression pact. It should. Did I just say... Did I just decline? No, I didn't. Okay. Wait, what? King Otto the Accursed of Pomerania. Oh, hang on. Actually, hey, hang on. Something weird just happened. Some uh, opinions just changed. So I don't really like him because I'm shocked, but I don't know what that means. But he likes me just fine. 
yeah, raise levies is a thing, but we're going to be going to peace real quick here. Also, not having money is a thing, so, you know, let's go deal with that. So someone in the middle. Random character. And that guy. Cool. We're at 68%. Ooh, Liga reinforcements are always good. Awesome. Oh, I think I just stacked wiped someone. Ten to one I can deal with that. Okay. Some chick became something whatever. She grew up. She needs to go marry someone interesting. Someone outside of my court. That's going to be this dude. Some chief. Uh I'm being sieged down. Or I'm being looted, excuse me. Alright, my cat has come to say hello. Because my cat is awesome. Um, we won that siege. We should be able to assault if we just, uh... Oh, kitty, do not step on keyboard. How come you can't train cats to just... Everything is fine, just don't step on the keyboard, right? Like, that's that's really the only thing. Just don't step on the keyboard. Um, some bastard girl needs to learn on her own. We are going to teach her... We're at least going to teach her right. Idolizer and affectionate. You would be perfect for the faith. There you go. There you go. Oh, hey. Um, do you want to siege this down? Or just assault that? There we go. And then another one? Ooh, that's going to be tough. You can do it, though. Um, same girl. Should she be more charitable? Yeah, you know what? The faith always needs more charity. And as the leader of our faith, I especially believe that. Okay. We were actually at war with quite a few people. Hang on. Um, I guess not that many people, but a lot of little, a lot of little folks. So, let us offer peace. Enforce demands. Go. Excellent. Oh, so good. And everybody go home, including especially ooh, enemy presence in our homelands. Uh, most people are going home. That's fine. Who's the enemy presence in our homelands? These guys, for one. Uh, there's a few raiders. It's not too bad, though. Okay, so let's... Let's actually do something really fun. Title can be usurp. Yes. Usurp the title. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do is this. Free new vassal. All right. And now this guy, this guy, he is Mayor Hooker of something, Carmathon. He's just some mayor in some town. What we're going to do now is say, Dear Sir, grant landed title. Well, we'll give you the county first, I guess. What's that? Glamorgan? County of... Let's make sure I'm giving the... Yeah, Glamorgan. Okay. Everybody's fine with it. Include lower titles. There you go. So now he's a, he's a Grand Mayor sort of thing. No. Grant landed title. Yarldom of Dehubarth. Include lower titles. He's going to love me forever. And a new great house has arisen into the forefront of Dehubarthian politics. Yes, we now have a vassal republic. Oh, yes. Now he thinks he needs to be on our, our board, which is probably true. He, he loves it. He loves us for now, so it's fine. He's kind of crap, so we may or may not ever actually, like, have him on our council. Okay, so there's there's the state of the world. Oh, uh, we have a lot of threat. We have a lot of threat. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yep. Yep. How's that for a... How is that for a uh, set of defensive packs? Let's, let's actually see what happens if we... Um, are more people joining? Yep. There is now a Jewish defensive pact. All the way over in Kazaria, they're like, oh man, holy crap, look at this guy. This guy is scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's our religion doing? 100% moral authority. Oh yes. It's a couple, you know, 
A little bit of extra holy war. Actually, hang on. Oh, uh, the Holy Roman Empire actually has a couple of uh, defensive pacts. Interesting. Okay. No. Yeah, this guy. Von Pommern is now uh, the Holy Roman Emperor. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, let's see who we have as far as folks we need to go and uh, attack. Oh, I do want to point out also, um, this guy here, our vassal, uh, Irish Holy War for Brege. Actually, you know what it is? He was attacking for this. Uh, Najera. Count Romero, the Liberator of Najera. What is this? What the heck is Najera? Anyway, I think he's still... Yeah, so our vassal is actually attacking for this stuff. So we'll see how that goes. This is a Kildarian Peasant Revolt. Oh, good luck with that. Actually, bad luck with that. Very, very bad luck. What's our, um, what is our retinue going to do? Actually, you just got to get there. That's right. I'm going to bring him over. We're going to deal with some, uh, deal with some raiders. It's fine. Second Irish Civil War for elective monarchy. Okay, well, good luck with that. I'm just glad that our uh, defensive pact can't attack us because I just hear these little dings over there and I know what they are. I know what they are. Uh, Amelberga Ulfing, you're very good at uh, intrigue and nothing else. You can keep secrets and all that, but that's that's about it. We're gonna marry you off to. Oh, you have claims. Uh, it's not like they need. Uh, we'll we'll marry him up somewhere. I was gonna say it, it's not like they need. Um, it's not like the Aztecs have any need for claims and stuff. Oh hey, you know what? We can make actually another. It's another thing we can create. Yeah, Kingdom of Wales, baby. Two hundred gold. All right. Okay, and now, you know what that means, actually, is that our youngest son, little little Prince Thorder, is now heir to the Kingdom of Wales. Oh, yes. See, this is how they think. This is the thing about um, people who hate Gavilkin sort of forget what the original purpose was. This way, all of your sons get something. Like, they're all going to get a kingdom. It's not just, you know, they're not all just sort of going to hang around and be useless, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty great. Actually, uh, can we get boats enough? No, we can't. Actually, how many boats you got? Two. Oh. Is that enough? I think so. Which be enough? Uh, learn on your own, little girl, indolent, timid, okay, um, sure, learn the faith, just learn on your own, okay, okay, where are my retinues needed, yeah, it was really fun, my first, uh, my first, or my, my uh, Great Holy War over here for Scotland was actually done entirely with, um, was entirely done with retinues and holy orders, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Oh, Palnatoke left the defensive pact opposing me. Interesting. Well, kind of curious why, but yeah, that's our defensive pact. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> pretty much the entire Catholic I mean, much everybody who's Catholic is like, oh no, oh no. They just, oh, except Italy. Oh no, Italy's back in. Italy's like, I need to get in better shape. Let's go running. Okay. Okay, we're gonna chase this guy off. Boat's going. Thank you. Thank you very much for all that you've done. I gain 100 prestige because I'm good at fighting people. Okay. Actually. 
I have no personal combat. No net personal combat. I should though. This says that I do. The fact that I'm a warrior? Should I, uh... Do I have any rivals? No, actually I don't. Oh, that's right. That's right. This guy was my rival, and he died. That's right. Okay. This guy being my son, of course. But yeah, all my rivals have, have, dead, have died. All my rivals have dead. Um, okay, well... Uh, Alfgar of Norwegian Revolt has declared war to oust King Sigurdr of Norway uh, out of the Kingdom of Norway. Okay, well, have fun. Are we even going to catch these guys? First May, 26 May. No, sorry, 26 April. Uh, Duchess Eland? Was introduced by a mutual friend. Who's this? Yingling. Okay. Was introduced by a mutual friend and we talked for quite a while. We had our differences and a few arguments. Then we found common safe ground and I began enjoying myself. Duchess Elin seems like a decent person. Oh, who is she? And is she my friend? She is not my friend. Uh, I wouldn't mind talking to Duchess Elin more. Sure. Yeah, sure. She's fine. She's, uh... Yeah. Uh, let's see here. She's trying to kill some Jarl, but that's fine. She's ambitious and arbitrary, and she's homosexual. I, I think, actually, we would have a few things to sort of be like, I don't know if I like you, but uh, you know what? It's going to work out. It's going to work out just fine. What's supply here? Oh, supply is just fine. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Guess what, guys? I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Technology. We have military organization high enough that the pagan, pagan homeland attrition penalty no longer applies. Oh, man. That's like the best thing I've heard in a while. It, what's just funny, it's not news. It, it happened a while ago, but um, yeah, there you go. Are you Norse? Dear sir. Oh no, okay, never mind. You're not Norse. You're something else. You're assuming it's go. Oh man, he's gonna actually siege this down before I can go kill him. Um, a range patrol though between my daughter and former of Irish Revolt. <sighs> what does he actually control? Earl of McConnock. You know, we're gonna actually decline this. Well, no, maybe not. Okay, by by declare by, by deciding yes, either we are going to um have a non-aggression pact with this guy, or we aren't. We're basically taking sides in this war. And I don't think I'm ready to do that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna decline. King Otto is no longer spy master. Who wants to be spy master? Well, okay, who wants to be spy master? I don't really care. Ooh, King of Ireland. Yeah. Eighteen. Nice. I hate to say this, but uh, you should not be leading troops. You either. Everybody, don't leave troops. Thank you. Scheme. Yeah, we'll scheme for a little bit. Okay. And then what is this? Introduce heir to the realm. Yeah, let's do it. What's my ambition? Am I, uh... Yeah, I want to groom an heir. Okay. Okay, cool. I want to finish off this battle. Or at least get these guys out of my territory first. Before I, uh... Call it a day. They're out of my... They're out of my area. Okay, that's fine. Um... Raise up some boats. Get them on over. Oh, we need even more boats. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A bunch of boats over here. We will uh, take our troops back on down somewhere else. Let's resign our leaders because we don't need them for battle right now. They can go live their lives and have a good time and make babies. Make very well-trained martial babies. And I think I'm going to end the episode there. Go to Solvi of St. Andrews. Well, I'll end the episode there. We'll deal with this in a second. Uh, but you know what? Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good episode. We we founded a kingdom. We founded a merchant republic who actually probably desires the kingdom of Wales. It's true. And uh, other than that, we're doing pretty well. Yet yeah, we we won a couple holy war. We won one holy war in this episode. Um, I'm, I'm pretty 
I'm pretty stoked. I am pretty stoked. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to uh, head on out for another episode, but I enjoyed myself. I do hope that you enjoyed yourself as well. If you did, feel free to leave a like, a comment, or a subscription, and either way, either way, folks, I do look forward to seeing you next time.